Hello and welcome to episode 17 part 2. Today we're gonna look at another game where I'm going for terraforming. So the two corporations I have here, none of them actually screams terraforming. I had Mining Guild and Terraktor, so none of these corporations are actually that good. You could be tempted to say that, alright I have Mohol area, I have Subterranean Reservoir, maybe I could couple this with the Mining Guild corporation and get a little bit of steel production and stuff. You know, it's, it's not terrible, but it's not really good either. I, I don't think... Uh, I don't think that's really what I want to do, but uh, the reason I go for Terraktor is actually not that I have any Earth tags. I don't think I have any Earth tags, but uh, what I do have for Terraktor is a lot of mega credits to begin the game with. And I'm actually going to use this to great effect to actually get a bunch of heat production. So my plan here is to play Mohol area and asteroid mining in the first generation, and then I'm going to play Solita in the second generation. So already I'm keeping a little bit too many cards, you could argue, like... I think it makes a lot of sense to keep the algae since um, Arctic algae since I'm really going for terraforming but it's not it's not really clear because I'm not really gonna play the Arctic algae until generation 3 at the earliest because I have so many expensive cards I wanna play before this so it's a little bit greedy maybe to pick up the subterranean reservoir and Arctic algae but uh, that being said I think the start other than that I think it's pretty much uh, I make the correct decision so uh, right here, the two preloads I'm getting is already going to give me plus one uh, heat production because I got the bonus and then I'm getting like four uh, steel and four titanium. So I already spent the four steel to actually play Mohol area. And now I think the correct uh, choice is to play asteroid mining before I play Solita, right? Um, because now I'm getting two more uh, titanium, which I can then use to spend Solita and the next generation. Look at this guy, by the way. What the hell? This green guy, so uh, he starts us and he got already four cities on the map, <laughs> which is cool, that's of course not bad at all, but then he also picked up the mayor. And if you've watched uh, me talk about Terraform Mars, I would tell you that it's a giant mistake to, to pick up mayor in the first generation. Like, he can, he can wait maybe until generation 4 or 5 before he has to pick up this milestone, even though he fulfilled the requirement, it's way too early to actually pick up a milestone. He should have spent this 8 mega credits on engine and then it should have picked up the mayor later on. But yeah, I'm choosing to pass the generation with 10 mega credits here because I really want to spend uh, this generation here playing Soletta. So this is like a perfect example of just building your engine with straight up terraforming and heat. So I talked a little bit about this in my strategy as well. So I'm getting, I'm not really having a lot of uh, like engine, all I get is like two titanium production and I still think it's worth it to keep, to, to pick up these two titanium production just to so have a little bit of engine. But right here, uh, I'm kind of like, I really want to play Soleta, so I can't really keep so many cards here. So do I keep bushes, do I keep asteroid mining consortium, do I keep farming? I think it's a little bit greedy to pick up one more titanium production. And farming is a little far away. I'm considering farming because uh, um, because I know that I'm gonna be closing the heat so soon. Um, but I think bushes is a little bit more of a safer choice. Also, before we get any further, I should uh, apologize that for some reason uh, the Tharsis guy is also green. I have no idea why. It's a bug in the game. So we have two green players in this game. So. Uh, um, right now isn't a problem, but once I start to build stuff on the map, it's gonna be kind of annoying. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be like putting, putting I don't know, my the, the Terraktor symbol on top of whatever I'm building. Actually, you know what, I'm gonna do something cool though. I'm gonna put a face of Jakob Fuxelius on top of every single thing I built this game. So you can, so you know when I'm building and when Green is building. Um, I almost didn't want to show this replay just because it's kind of bugged, but uh, it's uh, it seems like it's really literally only the color that's bugged. So if I make it clear which is actually my tiles and which is actually the tiles of the Thassus player, I think it should be okay. But it's a little bit annoying. There's still a lot of bugs going on in this game, unfortunately. So, uh, but we should get back to the game. So <laughs> another interesting choice here. Strip mine looks really interesting, but. Uh, I, I'm thinking, well, it's a little bit too... Maybe, maybe when I'm going for this really fast game, maybe the engine building is not that important for me. And also, I don't have two energy production. I think that's really what it is. If I could keep right now both Lunam, 
uh, both the energy production card and the uh, the strip mine, I think that would be different. I think that's something I would do. But as it is, I don't think, ah, oh, now I'm actually getting some energy production, but I couldn't know that, right? But there's a play where I should have went for the strip mine, it's very hard to say. But uh, right now, instead I'm getting indentured workers and business contacts. I don't think I really want artificial photosynthesis, do I? I don't think I have anything else that requires energy production. So you could make an argument to keep it just in case I would need the energy production, but uh, tempo is very important for me, so... I don't really want to keep too many bad cards in my hand. But I still want to keep, even though that I'm playing a fast game, I still want to keep something like a dentured workers. I, don't, I just think it's a very strong card. So right now I, it allows me to play LG for, let's say, 5 cheaper, because I paid 3 for the card. And uh, I'm a little bit lucky, nobody actually got any water yet. So I'm lucky in the sense that my LG is gonna... It's, it's a perfect time to play the LG. But I'm, I'm a little bit unlucky because of course my interest in this game is to close it as soon as possible. So it's a little bit of a trade-off. So right now I think I can get enough uh, heat so I can actually play my, my plant production card. Which is definitely what I want to do at this point. I want to close the game as soon as possible. It's a little bit annoying that nobody has actually uh, terraformed oxygen and water, but you know, it's, uh, it is what it is. So right now, uh, you could make an argument that I could play the card draw, the, the business, whatever it's called, where I can get the two out of four cards. I could have ended this generation playing that, but there's also an argument, what if I get a really expensive card or some other cards that I'd rather want to play? So it's always a little bit of a toss up. <clears throat> do I play the card draw now or do I play it in the next generation, you know? And I think uh, the reason I didn't do it is because I have this Methane from Titan, which is also quite an ex expensive card. So definitely I'm looking at the satellites right here. And I think, uh, I, th I believe I did check my tags and I don't think it's enough. Maybe I'm keeping it so nobody else can get it, but uh, I don't know. Is it? Is it? If I want to end the game at generation 7, which is highly unlikely at this point, but at least at generation 8, is it really good to pick up satellites? I don't think so. But right here, <laughs> look at this. This is just the power of uh, of kelp farming, right? I keep kelp farming with zero <laughs> water being placed. It is uh, perhaps a little bit greedy, but I think my idea is, well, if nobody else is gonna tear off from water, then I'm gonna do it. So black polar dust, it's, uh, you know, it, it's, it's not great. It's not that cost effective, but it's, it is a water and I do have kelp farming, so maybe it's worth it. And, I don't know, Livestock, Lichen, none of this looks very good to me. But uh, it's actually uh, kind of unlucky. It's four bad cards I'm getting with this uh, with this uh, business uh, research or whatever it's called. So I think the most obvious play here would just be to play these, uh, this Jovian. Uh, that gives me... <laughs> it's so annoying, two green players, man, what is this? <clears throat> but I think the most obvious play would be to just play this uh, uh, Methane from Ty- Oh shit, there's no, not two air. Okay, yeah, I'm stupid. I can't play it yet because there's not two oxygen. Yeah, in that case, this makes sense. Oh yeah, and this greenery is ugly, right? <laughs> yeah. I think this is uh, because the rule is you have to play a greenery right next to your city and right now i don't have a city yet so that's definitely a thing i i i'm, I'm looking at as soon as possible to get a city somewhere but um, hmm. this greenery looks ugly but i think it's correct to play it because i'm not really looking i don't have a city card in my hand so it's not like i can get a city in the next generation and also my position around the table is really bad if i keep if i hold on to my plants because now i'm i'm starting this generation so that means i'm gonna be the last player in the next generation so there's a lot of a lot of turns where people can actually play asteroid and and actually uh, remove my plants. So I think it's the, still the correct call to just play this really ugly greenery next to an opponent city. <laughs> it's just I don't have a city myself. So generation five, definitely what I'm thinking about here is the bonus, the water to get on the uh, on the temperature scale. 
I haven't. Yeah, I'm checking. I'm checking tags right now. I think uh, Media Archives is the only one that could be okay because I can play it for five, and likely I can get more than eight mega credits back. So yeah, that's definitely what I'm looking at. I think it's okay. Investment loan looks good. Ecological zone zone looks good. Ecological zone would be a little bit better if I had more cards. How many plant tags do I even have? I have one, and maybe cows. Yeah, I think in this case, investment loan for zero. That's probably the better way to do it. Hmm, Nitro Drainer's Asteroid. I think I have enough plant tax. Mineral Deposit is also really good, but when I can fulfill this card, it's definitely better. Especially considering that there's not a lot of oxygen and not a lot of greeneries being placed yet. So if I want to close the game as soon as possible, then definitely I need plant production. So it makes a lot of sense, Nitro Drainer's Asteroid. So the map is actually filling up a little bit quicker than I want it to. Which is annoying, so I kind of need to get a city on the map pretty soon. But uh, yeah, I think what I'm doing here is I'm actually just slow playing a little bit because um, I really want to get this bonus on the on the scale. So I have enough actually, right? I have both the nitrogen rich asteroid and I have uh, 16 heat. So I have enough to get the bonus. I just don't want to get too close to allow someone else to get the bonus. So this is why I'm slow playing a lot uh, right now. Hmm, so there's a lot of calculation actually. Can I can I play both subterranean reservoir and nitrogen rich asteroid? I think yes, but maybe I can Alright, I'm just selling a card, it makes sense. Actually I, I think I've done the math since I'm selling a card like this. I mean likely this card is not gonna be good, but is this only to slow play or did I actually do the math? I think it could be the case that I had done the math. So what do we have right now? I have 31 and I have 8 Titanium. And what do I want to play? Maybe I want to play both Methrain from Titan and also I want to play Nitrogen Rich Asteroid. Not sure. <clears throat> also I'll, I'll for sure get one more greenery when I... Okay, so now I'm, I, I feel like I've slow played enough. Some of the people have passed, so uh, now I'm pretty confident that I'm gonna get this one. So now I'm finally pulling the trigger. Yeah, and my opponent is, is reacting immediately by just, all right, all right, uh, there's nothing I can do about it, you get this. <laughs> but he was holding on to his heat, just in case I was bad and, and, and like, set up the, the temperature in, in a way so he could just claim the bonus with only the 8 heat he had, but I think I, I slow played and I looked at my opponent enough that I was confident that I was gonna get this. And this bonus here is really important. And also now I have enough greeneries to get one more greenery down. I have enough plants, I should say. And I don't see a reason to hold my plants, so maybe I'm just thinking, hmm how to actually place the greenery? Do I need... Hmm. So I think this must be because I want to play... Um... Oh, I should probably look at Landlord actually. Landlord looks super good. I don't really understand why I did it like this. Why do I not keep, why do I not spend my, oh it's because I don't have a city of course. <laughs> it's so, it's so confusing right, because all, uh, all of the cities are actually belonging to green, the other green. So I'm like, wh why, why am I not spending my plans, but it's because I don't have a city yet. So this play is a bit risky because now I'm definitely in danger of getting hit by meteors or demos down or something. But it also makes a lot of sense because I think in this generation what I really want to do is to create a city so I can actually put the greeneries around this city. So it's risky but I think it's a, a, with, a, <clears throat> it's a risk I have to take, I think. Immigration shuttles is the same as the last game, right? It's a little bit greedy. 
but it's also very tempting because there's a lot of cities on the map. <clears throat> but this is, uh, I don't know, this generation, I want to play city, I want to play kelp farming, I want to play Mathen from Titan sooner or later. I don't know, I, immigration shot, I think it's too expensive, right? Yeah, I'm not taking it. I think my plan is already straightforward. I need to water, I need my kelp farming, I need to build a city especially so I can actually get rid of all of these plants in my hand. So unfortunately I haven't picked up a card that gives me a city, like ever, at all in this game, which is unlucky. So I think I have to like spend a standard project, but before I do that of course I want to make sure that uh, I get the last available TR on the, on the temperature scale. <clears throat> that makes sense. I actually... I think I forgot to mention that I actually uh, I balanced my heat production very nicely this game. I think I did it with this card. <clears throat> I'm finally getting city. So do I want a little bit beta city to get VP or do I want to get it next to the water? I think this is okay. So this is the only city I have. It's very confusing, but it's actually like this. No, but what I was saying is uh, my heat, my heat, my heat production is actually very beautiful. This game, if you noticed, I, I think a few generations back, I played this, um, this small heat production card, because then I balanced it in a way so I would always hit the eight or sixteen mark. So right now I'm I'm at zero energy production, zero energy, zero heat, and now I can play insulation to just convert everything to make a great production it's very pretty it's a uh, i did a good job balancing the the heat production this game <clears throat> and I, I remember i did it intentionally i just been <laughs> talking about a, a bunch of other stuff so i forgot to mention it but uh, i remember it was one of the reasons i kept this uh, heat production card a few generations back <clears throat> Yeah, normally you could say that this card gets better, Media Archives, the more we wait, but I don't have any more events myself, and also the temperature is maxed, so there's not that many events, and also I, I guess I just needed the, the Mega Credits right now in order to play this card. <clears throat> so yeah, Methane from Titan. Didn't I play this? Yeah, I think I did. I played Methan from Titan and then I played Insulation afterwards. And now I'm finally getting a city. <laughs> it's a little bit late, but I think Noct Nocta City is still alright this game. <clears throat> it's still good, for sure. <sighs> and we can get a little bit of energy production. I don't think I'm actually gonna keep this, I don't think. Greenhouses looks very good. It's actually funny. So I can get one mega credit production per city. I can get one plant per city. But uh, taking into account that the landlord has been started and the banker has not been started, and also taking into account that this is probably the second to last generation, yeah, definitely taking greenhouses. Yep, this looks good. I think geothermal power that's only because I pick up Noctis City, right? So <clears throat> So what about this uh, kelp farming? The bonus by the way I should mention is not really important right now. Yeah, getting one more city makes sense. So putting it here and then I get Noctis City in my hand, that makes a lot of sense because now I can play place a greenery in between my cities and it's gonna be kind of okay. <clears throat> but the landlord has been started, scientist has been started. I think I could probably get a second plate in, in... I don't know, can I even do anything in landlord? Maybe I can with this with this card I just picked up. The thing is I have a lot of plant production and also I just picked up this uh, greenhouses. <clears throat> and now I'm like, alright, maybe the game is gonna close at 7. That would be fine for me, that would be perfect for me. So yeah, I'm looking at cities, so I have... Maybe I'm just looking at how many points I think my opponent has. Would it be good for me to close at 7? I think I think yes, generally, because I'm the terraformer. 
<clears throat> but I could be doing some math here. <clears throat> but definitely kelp farming, man. It's a good card. So I'm also thinking about can I actually close the game at 7 and I don't think I can do it by myself because there's both 3 greeneries and 3 water so it's probably it's very unlikely so I think I just have to close it next generation instead. So do I want to play Nocta City and Geothermal Power? Can I even? It's like I think I could but it's not Maybe I pick up, I don't know, it, I'm like floating three gold by not p playing it now, but maybe I think there are more. Uh, maybe I pick, pick up a better play. Could I even have played both? Am I stupid? No, I, I don't think I even could, right? Because I also needed uh, energy production to play it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then what am I talking about? I'm not getting energy production and nothing else. Um, I, I only want to play the energy production when I play Noxus City, so yeah. That's definitely what it is. <clears throat> I think this game is pretty interesting as well, just because it's like a clear-cut example of how to build your engine with only terraform rating and uh, Tia. <laughs> yeah, this is really starting to annoy me. I, I noticed it right away, but like now I'm, I'm like, is this really true? Is, is this also the case uh, with everyone else? Or is it just my computer where everything looks green? But uh, yeah. <clears throat> It's a weird bug. I've never had that bug before, to be honest. Commercial district looks cool. Towing a comment is actually like, if I want to close the game, you know, closing, like, it, it gives me like two points right away. It's actually very tempting, but I don't think I'm going to do it. I think the game is going to close either way. I think commercial district is also a little bit too good. And also I'm thinking that maybe I have, enough uh, greeneries I am actually keeping it I'm not sure I'm not sure if that's correct <clears throat> I mean it's a little bit of a trade-off right do I want to make absolutely 100% sure that the game is going to close in this direction this generation then it makes a lot of sense to keep the the comment but I think this is slightly better commercial district is a uh, it's very tasty at this point. But it's a hard call to be honest. And I'm only keeping commercial district. I don't think I need any, any of the other stuff. <clears throat> exactly, because what I was saying before, look at my plants. I have 18 plants. So I think that's, that's the reason why I shouldn't keep this other comet. <clears throat> because I could just start this generation making two greeneries. So yeah. Makes sense. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely making one more greenery. I just don't know where to put it. <laughs> so it's, I have to keep track. <clears throat> I have to keep track which of the green city is actually my city, <laughs> which is annoying. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm getting the last few available TR from the oxygen scale. It's good. So now I'm thinking about, I'm probably getting second place in land launches. Maybe even first place, am I? Because I still haven't played the... Uh... Alright, and now people are getting water. So now, I actually should do the math here. So I actually end up having like plenty. So there's a very interesting decision here. A very important decision. Do I make a, a one more city? Or do I just make a water for 18? And I think, if I recall, I was a little bit lazy. I didn't, I didn't math it out all the way. So I think I'm, I'm actually regretting not getting a standard water because someone else is probably gonna get it. And then I'm like, oh shit! Now I'm, 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 I'm actually, I'm at an awkward place where I don't have enough uh, mega credits to make a greenery, but I did have enough mega credits to make a water. So. But it might not be yet, it might be soon, but uh, definitely something to to think about here. <clears throat> but Nocta City and then Greenhouses. And then what I have left. So I'm definitely considering getting another city. 
but I don't I don't want to do it yet, right? Because I still wanna I want to make absolutely sure that the game closes. So I think I'm also a little bit too locked into this mindset. Oh man, I hope my opponents are actually making this water because then I know the game is gonna close. So that is correct, of course, but also I, I, I should have also kept in mind, well, maybe it's better for me that I make this water because otherwise it's going to be a little bit awkward for me to actually spend the last mega credits I have left. But yeah. <clears throat> also... The the plans is something I'm also thinking about. It's actually very complicated. Yeah, I'm looking look at my mouse. I'm actually I'm planning out how to to place my greeneries as well. So I'm getting one water, yeah? I think that's a safe choice. And then I'm getting on the steel, of course. Yeah, that makes sense because I want to play Nocta City. So the problem now is that with this two steel I have 38 and then I want to place my Nocti city and stuff and and the greenhouses how much is that and then my problem is I don't have enough to actually get one more greenery so yeah so I'm doing it like this but now look at my I'm actually needing yeah, so I think I would have enough to build the last uh, water and then also play my my greenhouses. So yeah, I was just about to make the last water and now I'm kicking myself that I didn't do it before because I didn't do the math properly. So it's a little bit annoying. So once again, if I start this last award, which I'm not gonna not gonna win anyway, I can't play greenhouses. So, but there's a little bit I can do something. Because when I cal yeah exactly I can go for this card. So this is not actually my city. This is next to my opponent's city. But the thing is, with the few cities I have, I'm I'm not gonna I'm gonna have a few bad greeneries. There's no way around it. So I might as well just get this card and hope it can give me like one terraform rating. So. Uh, that's the correct play to do right now, but I only came in this position. Yeah, see, now I'm getting, I'm actually lucky. I'm getting a card that I can exactly play and that's worth one victory point. That, that's what I want. But I'm, I didn't have to get in this position. I, ca I could have just made the water, but I didn't, I was just a little bit lazy doing the math. But if you, if you see, I could have made one water and that will give me two mega credits and a bonus in a water adjacency bonus. And then I would have had exactly enough to play greenhouses anyway so it's a little bit of a mistake here <clears throat> and also it's a little bit hard to see because everything is green but I think this could also be the game where my last city was a little bit questionable I think an idea could have been to place my city before next to Nocta City and then play Nocta City afterwards but I, uh, it's a little hard to see <laughs> which which is my city and all this green mess, man. <laughs> but yeah, this is lucky. So when everything is said and done, I'm not getting the last tier from the water, but I'm getting one victory point from this card. So it's exactly the same. But it's only it's only because I was lucky and pick. I, I might as well just have picked up a dead card, right? So. But yeah, I'm I'm sorry. Everything is green. It's uh, but I thought the game was very interesting. Nevertheless, so I still chose to include this one. It's just a very good ga game to show that, uh, you know, you can, you don't have to build your engine with mega credits and stuff like this. You can also build your engine with heat production and terraform rating. So this is like a perfect example of how to do that. And as you noticed, even though I am going for this, I'm still picking up the, the little bit of engine I got in the early game. All I got was like two titanium production. But if I had had like a little bit of mega credit production in the first generation, I probably still would have played that, right? So, um, but mainly building your engine only from heat and, and terraform rating, that's, that's reasonable. You can do this. It makes a lot of sense, especially if your plan is to just close the game as soon as possible. 
I would have liked to close it at 7, but uh, you can't always get what you want, so closing it at 8 is also completely fine for me. And it actually ends up uh, taking into account that there's only 8 generations. 88 uh, points in 8 generations is actually pretty good. It's a good score actually. Um, so yeah, uh, thanks for watching and uh, yeah, see you for the next one.